The LG Optimus GJ is Samsung's refresh of last year's flagship, the LG Optimus G, with the notable exception of now having water and dust resistance. Inside the box, you'll find the LG Optimus G itself, as well as the usual array of paperwork, an AC adapter, a USB cable, as well as some nice headphones and some extra earbuds. The Optimus GJ features pretty much identical specifications to the Optimus G with the notable addition of uh, water and dust resistance. The device itself features a 4.7 inch 720p True HD IPS LCD Plus. The IPS Plus panel has some good colors and viewing angles. The device itself is very similar in terms of dimensions to the Optimus G, with notable exception is that it is slightly taller by about five millimeters, and the thickness has been increased a little bit by about one millimeter. The rear panel is waterproof, but it is removable, much like the uh, offering from Samsung in the S4 Active, which also had a removable back panel. Inside, you'll see that the battery has been upgraded from 2100 milliamps to 2280. And there's also an addition of a micro SD card slot. On the side of the device, you have the volume rocker, as well as the power lock key and the 3.5 millimeter audio jack along the top, a lanyard eyelet along the right side, and the micro USB port is along the bottom, while under the display is a small microphone pinhole. On the back, there is the same 13 megapixel camera with 1080p video recording. And on the front, there is a 1.3 megapixel shooter. The Optimus GJ is powered by the same Android 4.12 build as on the original Optimus G. It features many of the same features, such as quick access Q-Slide apps that allows you to multitask while doing various things on the device. As you can see here, you can have more than one running at a time. There's also the quick toggles up at the top, which can be customized to quickly adjust all sorts of features. And there's also a brightness slider, as well as a quick shortcut button. Uh, LG have incorporated some interesting uh, features into the display, such as widescreen, which takes after Samsung's Smart Stay feature. As far as apps go, you'll find the usual Optimus UI features on board including the gallery, which can be resized like uh, we've seen on some uh, Sony interfaces and is uh, fairly responsive on the uh, quad core 1.5 gigahertz crate, which despite being uh, about a year old at this point is still pretty snappy. The included image editor allows you to add various image effects and highlights. Uh, there's also the music player. And here you have the same type of tiled view as in the gallery. And there's even Dolby uh, uh, mobile audio enhancements, although those do require a headset to be attached. On board is also the video player, which gives you a thumbnail-like or a grid-like view of uh, all your videos. The Optimus GJ is very capable, supporting all sorts of video and audio codecs, as well as 1080p videos. Finally, on board, you'll find that there's the regular Android internet browser as well as Google Chrome's browser. Both perform very well and have no problems with uh, desktop versions or mobile versions of sites. The Adreno 320 GPU does a very good job letting you browse quickly and efficiently. And that was the LG Optimus GJ.